Welcome back to The Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here. And if you enjoy the stories of everybody's favorite big red dog, Clifford, we have several of those in The Reading Corner as well. Today we're going to do Clifford's Pals. We also have Clifford's Good Deeds, Clifford the Firehouse Dog, Clifford Goes to Hollywood, and Clifford at the Circus. So check back in the reading corner with Miss G for those stories as well. Do you have some friends that you enjoy playing with? Well, Clifford has some pals as well, but they don't always make the wisest choices. They ended up playing in a construction site, which wasn't safe. Let's see what happens in this story, Clifford's Pals. Hello. That's Emily Elizabeth, she's talking. Hello. This is my dog, Clifford. I ride him to school every school day. Clifford usually waits for me in the schoolyard. One day, he got tired of hanging around, so he went off to play with his pals. The other dogs were Susie, Lenny, Basker, Flip, and a big dog named Nero. Nero led them. He led them to a construction site. There were a lot of men and machines there. Clifford knew it was a dangerous place to play, but he didn't want to look like a coward. Some workers were knocking down old walls with a big steel ball. Clifford thought the ball would be fun to play with. The men didn't think it was fun. Clifford and his pals ran off fast. Just as Flip was running under a scaffold, a can of red paint spilled. The painter yelled, Watch out, little dog! Clifford peeked around the corner. Little dog, the painter said. What was in that paint anyhow? Susie, Lenny, and Nero jumped down into a big pit. The work crew didn't see the dogs. They started to pour cement on them. Clifford knocked the cement chute aside. Now the men were covered with wet, sticky cement. Clifford cleaned them off. Yuck, the cement tasted awful. Clifford went to get a drink from a hose. Just then, someone turned the water on full blast. Uh-oh. Then, Clifford saw the other dogs digging in some soft dirt. They didn't see the bulldozer was about to push more dirt down on them. Clifford jumped to stop the bulldozer. He stopped it. Next, Clifford's pals found some great big pipes to play in. Clifford tried to follow them, but he was too big. Uh oh, look what happened. The pipe was stuck on Clifford's nose and he couldn't see. Oops. The pipe came off, it broke. The workers were angry, understandably so. <laughs> the dogs were causing a lot of trouble for them. They chased Clifford's pals into a storage pen and locked them in. Clifford came to rescue his pals. He had already broken a crane, a bulldozer, and a pipe. He didn't want to do any more damage, so instead of breaking down the fence, he found another way to help his friends. 
Now the workers were even more angry. They tossed a big, strong net over Clifford and tied him. They said they would have to keep him there until the job was done. Clifford didn't know what to do, but his pals did. They chewed through the ropes that held Clifford. They all ran back to the schoolyard. Clifford and his pals decided they would never play near a construction site again. Good choice. Construction site is not a safe place to play. All right, enjoy your friends, enjoy your stories in the Reading Corner with Mrs. G, and we'll see you next time.